Step four, how it works. Basic text, chapter four. We made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. The purpose of a searching and fearless moral inventory is to sort through the confusion and the contradiction of our lives so that we can figure out who we really are. We are starting a new way of life and need to be rid of the burdens and traps that controlled us and prevented our growth. As we approach this t step, most of us are afraid that there is a monster inside of us that, if released, will destroy us. This fear can cause us to put off our inventory or may even prevent us from taking this crucial step at all. We have found that fear is a lack of faith, and we have found that a loving, personal God to whom we can turn. We no longer need to be afraid. We have been experts at self-deception and rationalization. By writing our inventory, we can overcome these obstacles. A written inventory will un unlock parts of our subconscious that remain hidden when we simply think about or talk about who we are. Once it is all down on paper, it is much easier to see and much harder to deny our true nature. Honest self-assessment is one of the keys to our new way of life. Let's face it, when we were using, we were not honest with ourselves. We are becoming honest with ourselves when we admit that addiction has defeated us and that we need help. It took a long time to admit that we were beaten. We found that we do not recover physically, mentally, or spiritually overnight. Step four will help us toward our recovery. Most of us find that we were neither as terrible nor as wonderful as we supposed. We are surprised to find that we have good points in our recovery. Anyone who has some time in the program and has worked this step will tell you that the fourth step was a turning point in their life. Some of us make the mistake of approaching the fourth step as if it were a confession of how horrible we are. What a bad person we've been. In this new way of life, a binge of emotional sorrow can be dangerous. This is not the purpose of the fourth step. We are trying to free ourselves of living in old, useless patterns. We take the fourth step to grow and to gain strength and insight. We may approach the fourth step in a number of ways. To have faith and courage to write a fearless moral inventory, steps 1, 2, and 3 are the necessary preparation. It is advisable that before we start, we go over the first three steps with a sponsor. We get comfortable with our understanding of these steps. We allow ourselves the privilege of feeling good about what we are doing. We have been thrashing about for a long time and have gotten nowhere. Now we start the fourth step and let go of fear. We simply put it on paper to the best of our present ability. We must be done with the past, not cling to it. We want to look the past in the face, see it for what it really was, and release it, so that we can live today. The past, for most of us, has been a ghost in the closet. We have been afraid to open that closet for fear of what that ghost may do to us. We do not have to look at the past alone. Our wills and our lives are now in the hands of our higher power. Writing a thorough and honest inventory seemed impossible. It was, as long as we were operating our own, under our own power. We take a few quiet moments before writing and ask for the strength to be fearless and thorough. In step four, we begin to get in touch with ourselves. We write about our liabilities, such as guilt, shame, remorse, self-pity, resentment, anger, depression,
depression, frustration, confusion, loneliness, anxiety, betrayal, hopelessness, failure, fear, and denial. We write about the things that bother us here and now. We have a tendency to think negatively. So putting it on paper gives us a chance to look more positively at what is happening. Assets must also be considered if we are to get an accurate and complete picture of ourselves. This is, a very, this is very difficult for most of us because it is hard to accept that we have good qualities. However, we all have assets, many of them newly found in the program, such as being clean, open-mindedness, God awareness, honesty with others, acceptance, positive action, sharing, willingness, courage, faith, caring, gratitude, kindness, and generosity. Also, our inventories usually include inventory material on relationships. We review our past performance and our present behavior to see what we want to keep and what we want to discard. No one was forcing us to give up our misery. The step has the reputation of being difficult. In reality, it is quite simple. We write our inventory without considering the fifth step. We work the fifth step four as if there were no step five. We can write alone or near other people. Whatever is more comfortable to the writer is fine. We can write as long or as short as needed. Someone with experience, experience may help. The important thing is to write a moral inventory. If the word moral bothers us, we may call it a positive negative inventory. The way to write an inventory is to write it. Thinking about an inventory, talking about it, theorizing about the inventory will not get it written. We sit down with a notebook, ask for guidance, pick up our pen, and start writing. Anyone, anything we think about is inventory material. When we realize how little we have to lose and how much we have to gain, we begin this step. A basic rule of thumb is that we can write too little, yet we can never write too much. The inventory will fit the individual. Perhaps this seems difficult or painful. It may appear impossible. We may fear that being in touch with our feelings will trigger an overwhelming chain of reaction, chain reaction of pain and panic. We may feel like avoiding inventory because of fear of failure. When we ignore our feelings, the tension becomes too much for us. The fear of impending doom is so great that it overrides our fear of failure. An inventory becomes a relief because the pain of doing it is less than the pain of not doing it. We learn that pain can be a motivating factor in recovery. Thus, facing it becomes unavoidable. Every topic of step meetings seems to be on the fourth step, or doing a daily inventory. Though, through the inventory process, we are able to deal with all the things that can build up. The more we live our program, the more God seems to put us in positions where issues surface. When issues surface, we write about them, begin enjoying our recovery, because we have a way to resolve shame, guilt, or resentment. The stress once trapped inside of us is released. Writing will lift the lid off of our pressure cooker. cooker. We decide whether we want to serve it up, put the lid back on, or throw it out. We no longer have to stew in it. We sit down with paper and pen and ask for our God's help in revealing the defects that are causing pain and suffering. We pray for the courage to be fearless and thorough and that this inventory may help us put our lives in order. When we pray and take action, it always goes better for us. We are not going to be perfect. If we were perfect, we would not be human. 
the important thing is that we do our best. We use the tools available to us, and we develop the ability to survive our emotions. We do not want to lose any of what we have gained. We want to continue in the program. It is our experience that no matter how searching and thorough, no inventory is of any, last, any lasting effect unless it is promptly followed by an equally thorough fifth step.